In this video, I am going to show you how to download and install complementary shaders for Minecraft Java 1.21.6. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is go to your web browser, and I will have links in the description if you need them. But here, just go to your search bar and search up mod Rinf, like so. Now enter, and here you'll find modinf.com, just click on modinf, and then you'll be on the modinf homepage. So from there, just go to discover content on the top of the website, and then go down to shaders. Then, here you'll find complementary shaders reimagined and complementary shaders unbound. So basically, these are the same shader type, but we do have different styles for the shaders. So, what you want to do here is find these two shaders. If you don't see them here, just go ahead and search for them here or scroll down. But the idea here is I'm going to get both of these and then you can just go ahead and choose whatever one you want to get. So let's start by complementary shaders reimagined. So here, just go ahead and click the actual name. It will bring you to this page and to go ahead and get it, go to versions. Then here, it is very simple. For most shaders, you just go ahead and just get the latest one because you have all of Minecraft here, so all the versions for Minecraft Java. So it is nice and easy. All you want to do is just click the green download button. And now you basically have complementary shaders reimagined. Now to get Unbound, it is the exact same step. We just go to Discover Content, Shaders, click the name, and from there, you just have to go to Versions, and then you just find the latest one. You find if your version type is in there, like at 1.21 for example, that works for 1.26. And from there, you just go ahead and click the download button. And it is this easy. So you have both unbound and reimagined. Now to run shaders, what you want to do is go to a new tab, then you want to go to your search bar, and then you want to search up for iris shaders. Like so you enter, and now you'll find iris shaders are dev as a website. Just click on iris shaders, and then it will bring you to this page here. So the idea here is for you to click the download now button. And then you want to click the download universal java button here. And now you have the iris installer downloading, here it is. So iris installer and two shaders. And the last thing is if you can't run the .java file here, you will need to get yourself java for windows. So it is not Minecraft java, it is java for windows. To get this, you want to go to a new tab, you want to go to your search bar, and you want to search up jdk24, here it is, so jdk24. And here you find a website down here called overcall.com with java downloads. All you want to do is click the link, and I will have this website in the description as well, but just do accept all. And from there, just go ahead and scroll down, and you'll find JDK24, click Windows if you're using Windows, and click X64 installer right here. So, this is the link to download and install Java. You just do this like any other application for Windows, and then you'll be able to go ahead and run the iOS installer. Okay, so once you did this, you can go ahead and minimize or close your web browser. I'll close mine, and from there you can go to your file explorer to access your downloads folder. So here, all you want to do is double click the iOS installer and it will show up with a little pop up like this. So for the select game version, just select 1.6 and from there, just do install. Once it's done, you can close the installer and then you can go to the Minecraft launcher. With the Minecraft launcher, you'll be able to go ahead and copy paste the two shaders to the shader packs folder. So basically, once you're here, just see that you have iris and sodium for 1.6 and what this means is that you basically have this step done now to add a shader you want to go to installations here on the top then you want to hover over iris and sodium and go to the folder icon now you want to go ahead and find shader packs and you want to double click the folder once you are in shader packs you want to go to downloads you want to select the two shaders and copy them then to do, go to the top left arrow here to go back to your PS folder. So you want to go to the top left arrow, then you'll see back to a folder here. In this case, it is back to shader packs. Click that and click paste. And here you copy pasted, well, your shader or shaders, depending if you have both. Here, all you want to do is make sure you're in .mic of shader packs. And if you have anything like you see here, you are all done with this step. So here, all you want to do is go to the Minecraft launcher, then you want to go to play, make sure iOS and Sodium is selected, and click play. And I have to wait for Minecraft to open up automatically. Okay, so basically, once you're done with this, all you want to do is simply go ahead and go to single player world, a server, or a realm. I'll just go to single player world here. And from there, you'll be able to go ahead and activate your shader. So, 
Here we have a normal Minecraft world without shaders. So to activate complementary shaders, what you want to do is go to Escape, Options, Video Settings, Shader Packs, and in here you want to go ahead and get yourself Reimagined or Unbound. So if we want to try Reimagined, you just click it, and then you do Apply. And this just applies Reimagined to your game, like this. So here is complementary shaders Reimagined for you. And if you chose Unbound, it is very simple, same thing, just go back to here, you just go ahead and click on Complementary Unbound here, and just do Apply. And the same thing will happen except for the different style. So let's just wait for this to load up, and then we'll be able to see that we have Unbound, like so. So it is basically the same shader type, but it does have a different style. You can just use one of each shaders depending on whatever you have in mind for your Minecraft project. So yeah, that is how you download and install complementary shaders for Minecraft Java. So yeah, if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and see you for the next one. Bye!